Hey everybody, in this video we're just going to finish up everything and do some checks, make sure everything's working. So finally this Windows machine rebooted, so let's try to log in. Okay, so it's doing some updates. We were able to log in though. So that is good. So let's let that run. Um, let's do another DC Diag. And everything's passing, pass, 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 except for DFRS. So what we'll do is we'll make sure DR DFRS is working. So we'll go to here. So the DFRS on here is going to be in Windows Sysvol. So we'll just go right in there. Sysvol. Test domain dot local. And we'll just go into scripts. We'll create a new folder here. And in that folder, we'll put a file. Just a new, any, just a text document. That's all we need. Test one, okay. So now we have that in the sysvol. Let's also do this. Let's add a user just to make sure we've got everything working. New user, test user one, t user one, and we'll uncheck that and Okay, finish. Password is not long enough. Okay, that's great. Uh, let's see, I think we'll just try that. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I think the problem is I'm using the word test, so we'll do something else that's not in the user's name. Um, we'll do it. Okay. Okay, this should work. There we go. So we just created test user one over here. Now we want to go over here. Let's open this up. All right, so we don't see test user one yet. Oh, there we do. So test user one. So it's getting replicated over. So what we'll do also make sure replication is working the other way. We'll create a new user on this one. Test user two to user two. Next. And we'll uncheck this. Next, finish. Okay, so we have test user one, test user two. We're making sure everything's going over. Let's run replication summary. And show replication. You can see it just happened. Well, there, there's 1352. Okay. 
So let's uh, refresh over here. Okay, we've refreshed and there's test user two also over there. Good, okay, so we know replication's working. The other thing we wanna check is DFRS. So let's go and make sure that that's good. We'll go into here, Windows, Sysfall. test domain .local and go into scripts. And there we have test DFRS. So we know that that is also getting replicated. I'm gonna delete my scripts. Yes, that's been deleted. So now over here, let's see if that's getting replicated. And yeah, so we got replication going both ways. And looks good. Okay, so everything looks good there. Um, the last thing we're gonna wanna do, we made sure that this was able to log in, this computer. Uh, let's just go to, let's get a command line up. Let's just check DCO2 is the logon server. Okay, that's good. Um, the one thing I did see, and let's go over this, let's look at DNS. So in DNS, if we go through this MCDCS, we go through it, let's, let's do this. Sites, default cert, uh, default for site name, TCP. So we've got, that looks good. There is two DCO2s, but that shouldn't really matter. Here in this one, so if we look here, let's under DC, yeah, DC TCP, we've still got this one. So we don't want that. We don't want that in there. So let's delete that. And I don't think there's anywhere else that we're seeing seeing that. That looks good. Looks good. Good. And DC01 is our PDC, perfect. Test domain local. Got the name servers there, looks good. Look at sites here, just go through and just check. This one looked fine. Fine, all DC1, DC2, no problems. Let's take a look here. Looks good. Take a look here. Also good. Just go through. So we're just making sure everything's clean in here and we don't have any of the older, the other names that we brought in. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to disable one of these. So this is DC1, it's the PDC. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this 
and suspend this link. All right, so right now this has no connection to the internet. You see it just went down. So let's go over to here. And what we'll do is we'll just make sure we can still log in. So we'll restart it, full restart, just to make sure. It shouldn't take too long. So there's no connection over there. So right now, DC Diag is having some issues. You can see that, right? Because it can't connect to this other one. Once this thing reboots, we'll log in. Okay, so that's rebooted. Well, let's try to log in. We're going to log in as a user here. It's taking a little while. And what we might want to do is log into one of those new users we just created. Okay, so it did log on. Let's log out of here. Make sure this domain is working. We're going to sign out. And you can see server holding the PDC role is down. That's fine. So we'll do T user, nope, we want to log in as another user, so let's do that. Another user, T user one, and we're going to see if we can log in. We'll just make sure we can. This user has never logged into this computer. It's going to say hi. It knows that it's never logged in. We're getting everything ready. Perfect. So no problems, it was able to log in. It's gonna take several minutes, but I, I think that shows that this DC is answering, working, no problems. So let's do this, let's bring that back up. So we're gonna resume that link. Now we should see this come back. And we should see this recover. So this is taking a little bit longer. So that is back up, right? Let's just make sure. There we go. So now, now I think if we run a DC Diag, it just runs right through it. So yeah, okay, so it took a little bit of time. We know that that DFRS event, that's fine, no problem. Okay, so we're back up, we're running. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sign out. And I'm just gonna reboot this. So can I reboot this here? restart it and what we'll do is we'll take down the secondary okay so now that that link is suspended so now this should go yeah it's already showing that um, you can run DC Diag but it should have some problems not responding to directory service requests. So it failed test connectivity. 
there you can see that. So it's trying to find that host. That's interesting, right? Because it should resolve it. Although I guess with that IP down, it's not going to. So yeah, it's so it can't find it. So now what we'll do is we'll log on here and we'll use our other test user. And try to log in. And this should again give us should work. And there we go. So we're able to log in when this one's down. And when the DC one is down, when DC two is down. So it does work. This is going to take several minutes. Yep. We know. All right. So that is just showing us that our domain controllers working fine. Now, I don't know if you have certificates for your domain controllers from a AD certificate services perspective. You may need to regenerate those when on the rejoin. So that might be an issue right now. We don't have any. We're not using that. So not really an issue here, but those might be need might need to be regenerated if you're counting on any SSL connections to your domain controllers, which you probably are. So that's something to think about. Um, I think everything else should be pretty good. Looks like it's working, proved out. So I'd like to thank you for watching and thank you very much. I'm going to resume that link and thanks. Bye.